Hey, it's Calvin. Here's a feature I'd love to that, that I love that I'd love to show you, which is after you've sent out an email, say say I sent this one on Friday, for example, and I, and if you discover that there's a link in there that was wrong, you can actually go change it. Oh, this is a terrible example because there's no links in this email. I'm gonna pick one that actually had links. So let's see. Uh, this one, for example, for people who bought uh, our Black Friday offer, um, there's a link here uh, to this one. If I, you know, say I sent it out and then I realized, oh shit, this was wrong. I can just go in here and click that one, click that link, and then I can override it to some other link um, slash welcome. I don't know if this is going to be. But then it'll, you know, I do that and save. And then anyone who clicks that link in that email after is going to actually go to that new URL. Super helpful. So you don't have to like resend the email. You may still want to do that, but you don't have to. You can just go f immediately fix it, you know, after it's been sent so that it goes somewhere else. And then if you do, it's going to show you the overwritten destination URL. You can see what it originally was and what it is now. Um, while we're in here, we can also sometimes, sometimes, you know, the the UTM parameters that we add to links automatically mess up some, I think is like Wix website, sometimes it gets confused about it. So you can just tell us to stop doing that here. Um, stop adding those parameters. There's another one that we add, which is the Simplero contact ID. Hold on, I'm gonna turn off the heater. Um, you can turn off those off as well. And while we're in here uh, looking at this, you can actually make it links expire. So you know, three hours or, or two days after the email, email was sent, the above URL no longer is no longer where we take people. We take people somewhere else instead, or you can just set it to expire it, and then we'll show people a page that says, oh, I'm sorry, the link was expired. So kind of clever. Um, and of course, you can do triggers. So when someone clicks on your link, um, before it has expired, after it has expired, we um, do something. So that way, you know, you can actually get notified or you can tag people or you can send out another email when they click an expired link saying, hey, I noticed that you are really interested in in this, but the the link was as, you know, the offer is expired now. And here's what you can do instead to uh, get back on track. Really powerful stuff. I don't know how many people know that, but you can change links after you've sent the email. Super smart, super smart and useful.